We stand for truth. Jesus is God. When I first became a Christian, one of the doctrines I immediately fell in love with was the doctrine of the Trinity, because through this doctrine I understood the real meaning of love. Love requires three realities. A lover, that is the one loving, a beloved, the one being loved, and the love between them. I took this illustration and reflected on the magnificence of God as a trinity. The Father is the lover. The Son, Jesus, is the beloved. The Spirit is the spirit of love between them. While this illustration is imperfect of the truth behind the unity and trinity of the Godhead, Christians can say with certainty that God is love. Can those who hold a non-Trinitarian view of God consistently hold that God is love? Well, if God is not a trinity, who was God loving before he created anything? Can we truly say he was loving anything? But within a Trinitarian understanding of God, the answer is simple. The Father loved the Son. The Son loved the Father. From the eternal love between begetter and begotten proceeds God's spirit of love. These truths necessitate the godness of the Son, who we believe share in the Father's eternality, power, omniscience, omnipresence, and omnipotence. And yet despite the Son's godness, the Son did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing for our sake. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 7. As William Barclay says, to see what God is like, we must look to Jesus. He perfectly represents God to men in a form in which men can see and know and understand. Now that is love.